Hello everyone, this is Cinema77, Horror Call Film Lover. I'm back with another episode of Spotlight. I admit it's probably been a little bit since I last done one of these, and uh, yeah, I, I need to try to catch up. But um, anyway, so yeah, it's been a couple of weeks, and uh, I figure if I was going to come back, try to come back strong, and I don't know, maybe a lot of people won't agree with my choice, but I thought it was a good, strong one to come back with. We're going to talk about Charlize Theron. Uh, Charlize Theron, you know, you know, I'm sure you already know who she is. She's Academy Award winning actress for Monster. She's been acting for decades now. She's, you know, and it's amazing, you know, even as, you know, you know, she's been in the business, you know, like, you know, over 20 years, almost 30 years now, something like that. And it's incredible how still how good looking that woman is. It's like, you know, she's another one of those ones. I think if there was ever a woman who found, you know, the fountain of youth, I think it would definitely have to be Charlize Theron, but um, I personally think she's one of the most gorgeous women out there. So, but anyway, so let's go ahead and we'll get started. And I thought this would be an interesting picture to start off with. So we have this one of her right there. Whoop, get in there. As you can see, she's posing right out in the middle of the street. The only thing that I have a problem with this picture of is you think those cars would have crashed into each other because I think if I was driving down the street and I saw Charlize there on standing out in the middle of the road and she was dressed like that. Uh, yeah, that would probably make me cause to have an accident. Um, I mean, just, you know, it's not every day you see a, a really tall, you know, gorgeous lady blonde standing in the middle of the street, you know, wearing a, you know, wearing this kind of bikini with a jacket on and posing very sexily and everything else. So, yeah. So I think that that's kind of, <laughs> it's a little bit bogus on the picture there. Like I said, you think the cars would be like, you know, in the background, you think the cars would have been like in an auto crash or something like that. But anyway, though, just, but I mean, of course she looks absolutely amazing there and, you know, just, oh my God. You know, I was like, like I said, just there is, that's the thing about Charlize Theron. There is no way this woman cannot look just absolutely stunning and gorgeous. So, but anyway, that's our first pick and, uh, you know, and, uh, like always, just hang on, and right after the break, I'll be right back with the next picture. Welcome back, and uh, for the next picture, I thought I'd choose this one. I do believe this is when she did the movie Eon Flux, but I thought it was a very nice picture, and also goes to show, like I said, you know, that's the thing about Charlize Theron. She can make anything look good, and that even includes black hair, so we have this one here, and uh, yeah, she just looks amazing. Just Oh my God. Is there, like I said, is there anything this woman can't make look just absolutely stunning? You know, she looks so beautiful there. And, um, you know, even though she's just standing there, I kind of like, uh, I think it's kind of sexy the way you got the little bit of hair draping over her eye there. And obviously the outfit she's got on looks very sexy and appealing. And that I, I will say though, the top that she's got on there, um, you're going to definitely wish that like a good, you know, like she walk in front of a good strong blowing fan or, you know, she would stand in front of an open window. There'd be a nice, strong ble breeze blowing and, you know, get a better view. But uh, anyway, though, just, you know. OK, guys, now, you know, as I've done this before and I'm going to do it again. All right, guys, I want you to tell me the truth and shame the devil. All right. How many of you guys out there right now, if you were given a, a wish by a genie, how many of you would wish that you were the underwear she was wearing right there? I think a lot of you would probably, you know, like, you would wish for that. So, But anyway, though, just like I said, just, oh, my gosh, she looks incredible no matter what. So even when, I got to be honest, even when she was dressed up as Eileen Warnos and Monster, you, even the way she looked in there, you're still kind of like, meh, possibly. Yeah, I, I think I could power through it. But anyway, though, just, yeah, she looks good no matter what. Anyway, so uh, there's that one. And uh, hang on, right after the break, I'll be back with the next one. Welcome back. And uh, for this next picture here, I, you know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is probably one of the hardest videos I've ever had to do. Um, just because there's so many, so many pictures of Charlize and she looks so good in pretty much every single one of them. It's, it's really hard, you know, because, you know, I limit the show to a certain amount of time and it's really, really hard to just try to pick whichever one. So I went with this one and, uh, yeah, just, I like, I like the way her hair looks. It's kind of, 
tuft and everything. It almost looks like this almost this outfit looks like she just crawled out of bed. Um, I do like the provocative pose there. I like the way she's got the thumb hooked into the, you know, into the waistband of her undies there. And is you know, sexy and suggestive. Um, the, uh, I do think that's kind of an interesting choice, though, that, you know, on the, the top she's wearing there, that, you know, you have a picture of Albert Einstein on there. But I would, however, you know, looking at the picture of Albert Einstein on there, that's probably the look of everybody who sees her in this outfit. You know, that's their face is going to mimic exactly the way uh, Einstein's face looks on that picture right now. But uh, other than that, just, you know, but just, wow. You know, she just, and that's the thing. You've heard me say this before is I think that's one of the things, you know, Eileen, or not, uh, I was going to raise that Eileen Warnos. Jesus. Uh, no, Charlize Theron. I think, you know, she's managed. I think that's one of the things that's most interesting about her is that, you know, you look at all the movies she's been in, you know, she was, you know, in Monster. She was in, uh, you know, Mad Max, Fury Road. She was, you know, she's been in the Fast and Furious movie. She's been in so many movies and everything over the years. And, you know, the thing is, is like when you go to Hollywood, there's like a beautiful blonde everywhere you turn. I mean, you can't even you walk down like, you know, Hollywood Boulevard or something like that. You know, you can't even half turn around to see a beautiful blonde standing there. And so I think that's one of the things, though, too, about Charlize Theron is that she's managed to kind of make herself stick out from the crowd. I personally feel that she has, um, you know, just something about, you know, even though, like I said, there's so many beautiful blondes out there in Hollywood, but she's managed to be unique and be interesting and, you know, kind of set herself apart so that you can notice her. And I think that that's that's probably one of the most sexiest qualities she has. Because, like I said, you know, I mean, you get, you know, you got so many of them out there, they could be interchangeable. And yet she's able to kind of emerge and kind of have her own personality and kind of make herself, you know, interesting. So that's just my personal take on it. But, you know. Anyway, so, yeah, that's that's that one. And uh, hang on, I'll be right back with the next picture right after the break. Welcome back. Now, you know, you guys have heard me say this a zillion times. Any of you that's ever watched, you know, Spotlight before, you know, it's like I'm trying to set up the scenario for you. What if you come home, you know, you've had a big long day at work and you're tired and everything else and you want to relax. You go up into the bedroom and this is what's waiting for you laying on the bed there. Like, oh, my God, would you go nuts or what? I know I definitely would. It's like, oh, my gosh. You know. Like, oh, man, like Marge Simpson would say, you know, I want to snuggle her brains out. You know, just, man. I said, she just looks so gorgeous. And, you know, I was like, kind of wonder, like, you know, does she just, is that how she looks when she wakes up in the mornings? Like I said, you just kind of figure, like, you know, there's no way this woman would not look good. I don't know. Could be wrong. But anyway, though, just can you imagine how, you know, like using sense memory, could you imagine how good she would feel laying next to you? And, you know, when she smells good and the the smell of the, you know, the feeling of the robe or the, uh, the, uh, the nightgown on her body and everything pressed up against you. It's like, oh, man, it'd be like being in heaven, I would think. So. But anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd go ahead and show this one off. Oof. <sighs> anyway, so there's that one. And uh, I'll be right back, you know, right after the break with the next picture. So just hang on. Welcome back. And right now for this picture, we, oh, goodness gracious. Here we go. I think this one looks absolutely amazing. You see her there. It's like, is that supposed to be like a bathroom or, or a shower or a steam room, sauna, something like that? It's like, I don't think it really matters because if you walk into a room and you see Charlie Saron posed like that in that bikini, you know, with that, you know, you know, that suggestive look on her face and everything else, uh, it doesn't matter because the steam is going to be coming from you. That's honestly the way I feel about it. It's like she's, you know, you're going to like, like you pull out the waistband on your pants, and all that steam's going to come rising out. So that's where it's coming from. But. Oh, my God. Goodness gracious. She just looks amazing there. So. Very, very sexy. Give you a second to enjoy that. Okay. 
Okay, so I'll be right back with the next picture. Oh, wait, something's going on here. Sorry. Welcome back. And now for this picture, I chose this one here, which I personally really enjoy. And uh, you guys know me. I've said it before on many, pretty much every single episode of, of Spotlight that I've done. I've always talked about how, you know, I'm a leg man. And just her there with, you know, the the stockings looks absolutely, oh, oh, my God. You know, I was like, damn, man. It's like, could you imagine just coming in and she's just like, you know, you know, let's go right here on the couch. And you'd be like, okay, yeah, don't have to twist my arm. So I think that's a very beautiful, sexy pose. It almost looks as if she was just like, you know, uh, sleeping on the couch. I think that that's kind of funny and, you know, kind of cool. The way she's got her hair draped over the arm. But, you know, kind of like you walk through the door and she just looks at you and you're like, hi, how you doing, dear? That kind of a thing. But. Yeah. Oh, wow. So anyway, I thought that was an interesting one to show off. So uh, hang on. I'll be right back with the next picture. Welcome back. And I honestly thought it would be I don't think I've shown it yet. I, I think it would be a real crime if, um, you know, we did this entire episode on Charlize Theron and we don't show how amazing her cute little tush is. Which it is cute and it is amazing. So. You know, just, yeah. Unfortunately, the picture's in black and white. Sorry, I couldn't find a color one. If I could have, I would have shown it. But, yeah, you know, just, oh, my God. It's like, you almost want that to be your shirt that she's wearing, you know? It's like, because then, you, you know, like, later on, you'd want to put the shirt on just to have the smell of her on your clothes and have her on you. Or at least I would, and that'd be me personally. But I don't know. But, uh, you know, it is nice because, you know, I don't, you know, I tend to like some of these pictures, you know, where the, the actress or model or singer or whatever, you know, they're standing in front of a mirror because you are pretty much getting, you know, with the mirror, you are getting a full 360 view. Um, you get to see how great they look from the front. You get to see how great they look from the back. And, you know, it's it's definitely a good way to appreciate them. And just, you know, like you get to examine them and, and just, you know, see how beautiful they look. And Charlize does look beautiful there. The only problem is those with the HDR on this camera it does make it a little dark to see, though. But, you know, oh, my gosh. Like I said, just personally, I just don't think that there's any way this woman could look bad no matter what she does. Anyway, so there's that one. And uh, hang on right after the break. I'll be back with another picture. Welcome back. And for this picture, I think I could pretty much just let this picture speak for itself. I think you guys would pretty much understand why I would choose this one. Just get it more focus. And there you go. Yeah, I don't think I really need to be. I don't really think I need to go into too much detail as why I would choose a picture like this one. <laughs> Not hard to figure that one out. But just, yeah. I mean, just the view is absolutely incredible. And, uh, oh my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. I am pretty willing to bet that probably when the, the photographer took the picture on this one, he probably had probably about the world's biggest, you know, shit-eating grin on his face. I know if it was me, I probably would have. But, you know, wow. That's just me anyway, so. I'm just going to be quiet here. Give you guys a few seconds to enjoy it. So. It's ooh la la. I'm really sure about the top though. I, was like, I mean, I know it's just kind of like a hoodie she's got on, but just the, you know, like the frills around the, you know, the frills around the cuffs there and stuff. I don't care about that too much, but anyway, the rest of it's fine. But anyway, so, yeah, I just thought, you know, let you guys enjoy this one. So. Anyway, so just uh, hang on. I'll be right back with the next picture. Welcome back. And now for this picture, I have to admit this, this picture I do have kind of a love-hate relationship with, but I'm going to go ahead and show it to you anyway. 
And the reason I love it, obviously, is because you get to see Charlene's beautiful uh, statuesque body. And she just looks absolutely stunning there and just, you know, looks perfect in that outfit and everything else. The reason why I hate it, though, is I tend to usually like when I'm looking up picture, I, I, I don't know. I know a lot of people couldn't give a shit less, but it's just my personal opinion. I always like to see their face. And here it's kind of hard because you got her arm. It's blocking her face. And if her arm isn't blocking her face, her hair is. And so that's just about the only gripe I have with this picture. You know, I mean, obviously, it's a very simple picture. It's her standing up against a wall. Um, you know, she's wearing this, you know, sexy tube, you know, the sexy tube top. She's wearing, you know, the, the uh, nice black undies and, you know, showing off her perfect body. But like I said, it just it bothers me because, like I said, you know, just you can't see your face. And that's something that always just irked me. I never like that. I never like when you, you know, when you can't see their face. I know some guys are probably like, you know, and probably some girls, too. It's like, who gives a shit about their face? But anyway, I don't know. I'm one of the few that do, I guess. But that's just me. But uh, yeah, just. Oh, wow. Just, you know, she's the stuff that dreams are made of. I can honestly say that. I At least I think she is. I like the uh, I like the shadows though too. You know the picture with the shadows. You, know, you see the blinds kind of reflected off of her skin there, and almost makes me kind of think of uh, it. Almost looks like as if she was starring in an Adrian Line film or something like that. You know, like as if she was doing the sequel to Nine and a Half Weeks or something like that. But anyway, just Whew. <laughs> yes, sir. But I'm sorry. I know this is dead air, but I'm just like I said, I'm just giving you guys a chance to enjoy it without me talking over it. So. Anyway, so there's that one. And uh, hang on right after the break. You know, the root, you know, the routine by now. After the break, I'll be back with another picture. Welcome back. And for this next picture, um, the subject is beautiful, but it's kind of weird. At least I kind of think it is. Uh, hang on. I mean, you got Charlize here, and she's, you know, looking great, looking beautiful. Um, you know, her outfit's white, you know, it's like you can see most of her face. You got a little bit of the hair covering it, but, you know, that's all right. You can still make it enough. Um, she's got the white little, you know, bid riff, uh, midriff showing sweater on, which, I mean, you know, that's fine. Um, got the nice underwear on, but the one thing I don't understand is why is she sitting in that disgusting, rusty old chair? It's like, you know, if I was a photographer, you know, it's like, would I really want to put, you know, probably one of the most perfect, perfect little bums of any woman in Hollywood, would I want to put her in that nasty, disgusting old chair just to take a picture of her? I'd be like, uh, it's like, you know, can we like get a towel or something to kind of cover that? I don't know, unless they figured that, you know, maybe, t you know, her taking the picture in that chair was going to, you know, give the, you know, make the picture somehow more artistic. But uh, it's like, you know, just I think just a lot of people would be like, uh, I don't know. You know like, I think a lot of people probably look at this picture and be like, dude, you know, she looks great and everything else. But like, I don't buy for a second. She was sitting in that disgusting ass chair, especially, you know, like, you know, it's like it's all gross and rusty. You know, it's like she's wearing all white that, you know, that rust could get on her clothes, you know, it could get on her skin and stuff like that. It's like, you know, you don't really believe that, you know, a woman is going to, you know, take a chance to sit in that disgusting old chair. I mean, unless she was absolutely tired and exhausted. And it's like, I don't think that would be the exact way she would feel here because, you know, like you see her pose there. I mean, um, you know, yeah, the way she's, you know, draped over that chair, it's kind of like, you know, that's not a very comfortable position to be in. It looks great, but you know damn good well, she can't possibly be comfortable. So... But anyway, that's that. And uh, so hang on just a second. Uh, we got one more to go and I need to find a good one to go out on. So um, hang tight. I'll be right back after the break. Welcome back, guys. And I figured to go out on this one, uh, I would probably go ahead and pick my favorite picture. Well, one of my favorite pictures of Charlie's. And this was when I believe she was in that movie Two Days in the Valley. And so I figured I had to show this one. And that's this one here, right here. 
now that I think about it, I mean, do I really, really need to go into explanation why I love this picture? I'm not going to lie, though. I, I admit, if I had a chance, I'd, I'd, try to get a, I'd try to get a poster of this, you know, like a nice 24 by 36 or something, you know, and just have it framed on my wall. It just looks amazing. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I, I don't think I need to say much. I think you guys understand why I picked this one to go out on. So. I would hope that a lot of you would agree with me on this one, but you know, just and the funny thing is, I've never seen the movie. I've never seen Two Days in the Valley, you know. But seeing like if this is what she looks like and this is how she is in the movie, I probably should give it a good watch. You know, it might be, it might be really fantastic, especially if she's doing this in the movie. So, anyway, that's gonna wrap it up. So. That's that. So, you know, thank you guys for watching this episode of Spotlight. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was worth it. You know, the wait, waiting for another one to come back. Um, like I said, I also do hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I made it entertaining enough for you. Um, if you did, please like the video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I promise there'll be more videos in the future. And um, that's it. Take care, and everybody have a good night. Bye bye.